guys, so welcome back to my channel. Just got a little review slash unboxing today of something I got in the mail overnight. Very, very pleased with Amazon's overnight delivery. I literally ordered it last night around 8 p.m. By the time I woke up at 6 o'clock this morning, it was at my doorstep, okay? Um, this is a Toshiba external hard drive, okay? Um, obviously, it's called the Canvio Advance. I got the 2 terabyte edition. Uh, it does go to 1 terabyte, 2 terabytes, or 4 terabytes. I will have a picture here of the different prices of the different terabytes. That being said, uh, I did choose the two terabyte uh, since I am creating a little bit more content. I do need one of these. I've never owned an external hard drive. So uh, this is a beginner's edition. <laughs> Let's just say that. So I did go with Toshiba considering it is a popular and uh, you know, a fair brand, I should say. And uh, let's just check it out, okay? So, Toshiba 2 terabytes, Convio Advance. All right, some specs. And uh, let's see. Backup software, logical. Oh, that's Spanish. Anyways, password protection software. Uh, I did pick the green version. Okay, it comes with different versions. All right, so anyways, this is what we're working with here. So an English backup software, password protection, portable storage. Okay, comes with all the directions. Anyways, compatibility. It is formatted for Windows 10. Requires reformatting for Mac OS. All right. It is USB 3.2 Jan Type 1 A to B micro cable included. All right. So let's get to unpackaging this bad boy, okay? So anyways, let's get her open, okay? So it does look like there's some tape right here. So we're just going to rip her open. Considering that I really don't care about the box. Uh, I'm just gonna rip it from underneath because I am a horrible open upper. That's even a word. <laughs> Anyways, so let's pull this baby out. See what we're working with here. Alright. Tsushima Declaration of Conformity Information. Nice. Who cares? Alright. Just throw that over there. Cardboard. Cardboard. And wow, beautiful. Nice color, okay. Comes with a solid black back, which is cool. Alright, nice, 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 nice. So let's focus in on this. Alright, you see it has a little bit of texture. Not bad. Supposedly this is the top. Okay. Beautiful. Like I said, not bad. So anyways, there goes the input port. Alright, small, light, perfect for travel. I'm actually going to get a case for it along with everything else that I have. It's good. Off, obviously, it should come with the wire and it does, so that's good. Um... USB A port and the input port. So nice. We'll check out the length of the cord. Probably something simple, you know. Obviously, uh, you wouldn't want a long cord anyway sticking out of your computer when it's already a hassle that you have to have this in the first place. So just enough space. You know what I'm saying? You can also buy one of those sleeves that you put on the back of your laptop if you just want to slide it on the back of your laptop like that so it's out of the way. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I am going to give it a little test testing here. All right. So you do stick that port into here. All right. So I'm going to give it a try. We'll tape it and see what happens here. Okay. Uh, Hopefully I get good use out of, it, out of it. Like I said, it was good for the price. You know, I go to Walmart and I see 500 gigabyte uh, external drives for like $65. And I'm like, what? I just spent $57.99 or whatever it was on this 
for two terabytes okay it's probably not the best or the fastest but it'll do the job like I said I'm starting to create more content I have no room on my computer and I'm only literally like two videos in on uh, my iMac here so that being said time for one of these bad boys I'm gonna get her hooked up and we'll see how the rest goes all right so first so off I finally I figured it out like I said this is my first external hard drive so please don't laugh all right so what had happened was I went into finder I had to format the hard drive to my computer and what you do for that is you will go to your disk utility so you'll go up to the search bar up here and then you will look up utility okay so it will say uh, disk utility you'll click that and when you do you're gonna click on your external hard drive you're gonna click the first one there's a setting up here for erase okay you're going to hit erase and when you hit erase okay something's gonna come up on your screen and it's gonna ask format if you're using this hard drive for uh, just this you know Mac products and not PC you'll just do Mac OS journaled and then uh, I just do GUI D partition map in case in the future I want to partition my uh, hard drive so anyways you're gonna hit erase it's gonna go through and it's gonna say done once it does that you can also go down to the bottom one do the same thing go to erase make sure it's uh, journaled and erase so that will format it to your computer so I had to do that uh, once that is finished you can finally click on your uh, your external hard drive up here so that'll open it up I've already dragged a few things over to my external hard drive I am actually copying uh, one of my projects that I had made in Final Cut Pro over to my hard drive so I can delete it off of my computer um, that way I have a little bit more space as you can see it's taking up quite a bit gigabytes 141 gigabytes just for this project so once it is copied over to my hard drive once that is finished I will delete the one that is located on my computer that way we can save up some space here I've also went to Final Cut Pro and I started a new project and what you want to do when you start a new project and you want to save it to your external what you're gonna do is you will go to the corner over here okay you're gonna go file you're gonna go new you're gonna go to new library when you go to new library you're gonna save your new library which is gonna be what contains these little stars and anything that you save in the library is going to be uh, you know saved pretty much to your movies folder which is over here which will show up like this any and everything that you have events um, all that fun stuff in that library is going to be saved to your movies but we don't want it to be saved to here because we want to save this space in our computer so before you start a project please make sure you hit file you're gonna hit new you're gonna do new library I want to save this one as uh, whatever it is I want to save it as okay demo let's say once we do that you're gonna click where you want it to be saved before it was saved to Daria's iMac and or uh, the movies folder so now that we have an external hard drive we don't have to save it to our computer anymore so we're gonna save it to untitled you'll click save and once you do that your new project and anything that you put under your new library which would be all this stuff or in this case all of this stuff and everything I did to this video okay all of this is now going to be saved in my external hard drive which is currently untitled so now that I started a new library I haven't put anything in it yet but when I do move on to this library under Toshiba because I'm gonna do a review which I am right now on this external hard drive so anything that I 
add to this library is now going to be saved to my external hard drive so that way it's not taking up space in my movies folder as you see I just made that new folder Toshiba and it's not saved under my computer thank you God so anyways it's saved under here so everything I do will be saved into the external hard drive I'm waiting for this to be downloaded so I can change the name of my hard drive but I'm very glad I figured this out because um, as you can tell uh, iMovie especially Final Cut Pro depending on all the edits that you add to your movie it is going to be costly to your storage and we don't want that to happen so that being said thank god for this hard drive um uh, just waiting for stuff to copy so i could do a few things uh, finish on with this project and start my new toshiba project which is this video right here and i do want to say thanks for watching uh as we can tell it is pretty slow but hey, that's what you get for $62. I just need it to save my files, okay? That's all I need it for. I don't care about the speed, whatever. You know, I can walk away and do something else for a few minutes. I just need this space. So this is going to be my lifesaver so I don't have to use all the space on my computer. Because at this point, when I go to add an image to this library, literally it says your disk is out of space. So look at this, okay? Uh-oh, the colorful whales here. Anyways, I wanted to go to my finder. I wanted to add, uh, let's see, my downloads. That's actually in this file now, YouTube. I wanted to add a image, okay, which is this right here. And when I go to add it, it tells me not enough disk space. But right now, it's not doing it because I have the color wheel up. So anyways, that being said, I can't even drag a folder or uh, photo into my project because there's not enough space but now that I saved it to my external hard drive there will most definitely be space now so anyways that's about it we're gonna wrap that part up I just want to say thanks for watching let's close this up because it is giving me the color wheel and we don't want that so we're just gonna quit my Cut Pro really quick and uh, let my computer And let my computer finish uh, downloading what it has to download so that is it I will check you back in about the uh, you know review of this like I could say so far it is pretty slow but uh, it doesn't matter to me I just need external space so I would say it's well worth the money it's connected into my USB-C adapter which has the HDMI uh, three USB ports SD card slot and a micro SD card slot so uh, that's what I have it plugged into, and uh, since this one is ejected, I can get rid of that. No more of these. These are horrible and they suck. Take it from me, there's no space, forget about it. Okay, these are the way to go. And I'm glad to say I own one now because I'm finally creating some more content. Anyways, peace out guys, have a great day, and thanks for watching.